Season three. Let's go. Super excited. I've heard this is, for a lot of people, their favorite season. After two weeks, Republic City continues to recover from Korra's epic battle. It's only been two weeks. Wow. Vines have sprouted up all over, creating pockets of wilds the spirits oh. have come to call home. What other changes are in store for our city? Hopefully some that are better for the real estate market. Chapter 1, A Breath of Fresh Air. Interesting title. So a lot of people were talking about the end of season 2 and how, in a way, it was the creators trying to distance themselves from the past show. So in a way, season 3 is kind of a fresh start, right? We've departed from a lot of the conventions of the Avatar system. Boom June. Come back, Boom June. Boomju. If you don't want to wear the sweater I made you, that's fine. I'm sorry I got mad. Did he just airbend? I'm airbending. Ah. Wow, that still hurt a lot. Wait, is that an innate ability or... Did somehow harmonic convergence create a shift in people's abilities? That would certainly shake things up if people could bend now. Janora has just graduated to like the upper echelon. How are we ever gonna clear away all these vines? Why do you wanna get rid of them? You changed the world. Property developers are really unhappy though. So Korra definitely like opened a Pandora's box. Naturally a lot of people are gonna be very unhappy and I'm sure Korra, being the sensitive person that she is, is going to take that pressure right on her shoulders. The wilds are their home. I don't think the people who used to live here are as excited about it as you are. Right. Balance these weeds. I gotta go face the press and tell them I still don't have a way to get rid of the vines. Don't worry about the press, Korra. I'm facing this calamity just like every other citizen. By crying. I just need a little more time to get everything back to normal. The Avatar has put us all in a very difficult position. Oh no. Did I put you in a difficult position by fighting the giant force of pure evil that was going to destroy the whole world? He saw a political opportunity and boy did he sure take it. I had high hopes for the president in the last season even though he wasn't very helpful. He at least seemed like level-headed, but that was a cheap shot. This is a disaster. Sami. 8% approval? Who are they asking? You can't take that to heart. People are just frustrated. Mm -hmm. I don't blame them. I should be able to fix this. Interesting. I can airbend. You are not going to believe what just happened. Where's your father? Dad! What is it? What's wrong? <laughs> Boomju and I had a little fight. I made him the sweater and he didn't seem to like it. And I'll admit it might need work, but it was my first attempt at knitting. So I was a little hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Great story. Poor Boomy, man. He just, the way he sets up his life, <laughs> nobody believes anything he says. I gotta say, I love being a part of this family. You got the grumpy dad, the wacky uncle, the put upon mom, crazy kids. Oh. oh, this is great. Ouch, that like put upon mom just cut to the bone. But it's kind of true. Is it weird that I literally finished season two yesterday, but I feel like a long time has passed? Wait, maybe I can only do it when my life is in danger. This is not a good way to think. Look away, Uncle Boomy! Oh, you did it. Was that really life threatening though? What the heck did all this? It was my brother. He's out of control. He was creating this storm like... Like what? Well, like he was airbending. Sir, that's impossible. This is definitely going to unbalance things if everyone can suddenly airbend. One, two... <gasps> you mean there's another one? Where is he now? He blew a door down on me and got away. We'll help you look for him. You should leave it to the police. It's... Police business, you know. Okay. That was awkward. I should just get going. What's his deal? Is he embarrassed about the terrible love triangle in season two? So, when I was gone, did he tell you that we broke up? Yeah, we all knew. Sorry. That's pretty embarrassing. And everybody was watching. Everybody. The whole town was there. Actually, I need to tell you something about that, and I should have told you this sooner, but... Water under the bridge. Let's move on. It's like a dream, Dad. After 170 years, new airbenders. It's great that he takes that so well. I think a lesser person would feel threatened by that. That shows his heart is really in the right place. When a new guy gets airbending, does that make him our brother? Well, in a way, all airbenders are our family. Does that mean I have to share my room because I like my personal space? Of course not. I hope we have enough for an army. 
<laughs> I want to be a commander like Uncle Boomy. Cool. They're all taking this so well. Maybe there will be enough to fill the temples again. What's uh -huh. wrong, Daddy? I just wish your grandfather were here to see this. Will you be Airbender President? No. It's cute. But I think the new Airbenders will need lots of help and guidance. Don't worry, Dad. We'll help you. I know you will. What a beautiful scene. What great kids. And great Tenzin. <laughs> what is going on though with the airbending? My suspicious nature is arising again. I want Tenzin's joy to be justified. This is the season premiere, so there's gonna be a villain set up, right? Is it connected? What's the conflict gonna be? What are you guys doing here? I was alerted that you had a new plan to wipe out these noxious weeds, so I thought you'd want everyone to be here to watch. Yeah, they're definitely reworking the president character a little bit. There was nothing in the past to suggest that he was like this, but I think that they need political pressure. He's a vehicle for that. How did you know what to do? Will you send the spirits away now? How soon can we expect public water service to resume? No, Timmy. I feel like his name is Timmy. Oh, she has the... That's so cool. Did she have that before? I can't remember. That's new, right? Hang on. I got you, Timmy. <laughs> that was a very, like, superhero moment. Traditional superhero moment for Korra. I think that could have gone better. Yes. Thanks, Bolin. You must be at the end of your rope. You hate meditating. I thought that if I really tried, I might be able to contact my past avatars. Mm -hmm. Someone who knows something to help me. Oh, that's I interesting. Can't. They're gone, and I'm all alone. There's something so beautiful about this, and just hearing this makes me respect the decision at the end of season two a little bit more. Here's why I think this is so important as a human being watching this and trying to get something from it. At the beginning of season two, I justified some of Korra's rage and anger by saying that she's looking around for answers and she's not finding them because people around her can't give her the answers. This to me is very real. Growing up, we're sort of conditioned to place our faith and responsibility in external sources. And that's by necessity because we need time to mature. We need to have structure with which to explore ourselves and need to be kept safe. But I think part of real development, you know, part of actual being who you are and embracing your life head on is accepting that now you are the one who is guiding your own life. And while people around you may give you support in some ways, they're not going to be the ones to solve your problems because your problems are now your own. It's a horrifying thing to, to confront for the first time. You know that everything is in my own hands. Success or failure is me. The instinct is to crawl back to that state where nothing is my responsibility. There's nothing I can do about my own life. But there's tremendous joy in that too because for the first time, you are the, the master of your own destiny, you know? And so it's equal parts exhilarating and terrifying and frustrating and amazing. Cora is kind of confronting this right now. She's always had a lot to lean on. So I'm guessing part of her development this season will be learning to be more autonomous, more confident in her own choices and her own ability and shouldering that burden, you know, really shouldering it and looking at it head on in the face and, you know, being the hero everyone wants her to be. Did I ruin everything by leaving the spirit portals open? You didn't ruin anything. You did what you thought was best for the world. And now things have changed. Change can be good or bad, depending on your point of view. Yeah, part of that shouldering responsibility is that you're gonna f up. That's just part of it, and you have to be okay with that. There's no other way. It's better just to f up and f up epically and embrace that and move on than it is to just curl up in a ball and pretend that life is something that's not worth anything to you. I know the people's point of view. It's bad. You're not the president, Cora. Your job isn't to fix the daily problems of every person in Republic City. Mm. No matter what you do, some people are not going to be happy about it. <laughs> right. What you did during Harmonic Convergence may have brought back the Air Nation. And that can only be good for restoring balance. This is the Tenzin that we've been looking for. Strong teacher Tenzin. I love it. A very intelligent person I know said to me recently, some people just aren't going to like you. And that's just true. Some people aren't going to like you. Nothing you can do about that fact, so may as well just accept it. And I think that's why it's so important to follow your own values, because given the fact that not everyone will like you, the priority should be to like yourself. That is the act of a great avatar. It's scary. Yeah, it is I have scary. have all this power and all these people depending on me, but I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing half the time. It seems like I should be wiser. True wisdom begins when we accept things as they are. Okay, Iroh. <laughs> Who is this guy? Is this Tenzin? Man, what a, that scene alone. This video is gonna be 40, 
40 years long. So I think the feeling core is having about not knowing what she's supposed to be doing, feeling a little bit incapable. I think that's a healthy sign. I think it just means that she's putting herself in a position to grow. If you're not feeling that way about something, then maybe there are more challenges that you can take on. You know, I think it's important to stay balanced and not be excessive and feel like you have to take the whole world on at once. But there's something good about that. You know, there's something good about being in a, in a situation that's a little bit outside of your comfort because like you will surprise yourself. Like you will fill in that gap. I also like what Tenzin said about how true wisdom begins when we accept things how they are. That was Tenzin's big realization. He was lying to himself about who he was. You can only build so much on flawed beliefs, flawed assumptions of the world. I think one of the biggest components of growth as an individual is trying to put down your desires for what you want things to be and just seeing them as they are. That gives you such a better framework for action. That was one of the most packed scenes that I've ever seen. Mako called. The cops found the new airbender guy, but when they tried to bring him in, he ran away and climbed to the top of Kyoshi Bridge and he won't come down. Oh, sorry. Did I interrupt an Avatar wisdom session? Yes, you did. A major one. Avatar but we got a lot out of it anyway. The past, Come on. Oh, okay. Is that a good thing? Depends who you ask. Funny. I don't know what I'm doing and I don't want to hurt anyone. Tell me about it. Rough day, huh? I'm having kind of a rough day myself. But I promise you, things will get better if you just give it a chance. Oops. <laughs> Very superhero episode for Korra. I've never met a new airbender before. Well, at least not one whose diaper I didn't have to change. Actually, Give I time. just fell off a bridge, so <laughs> right. we could use a fresh diaper right about now. We have a crisis every other day now, thanks to you. I order you to leave this city. You've caused nothing but trouble since you arrived. <gasps> um, is that the best move? There are new airbenders out there, and I'm going to find them and rebuild the air nation. Don't think I'm not going with you. Who knows who's out there right now, discovering the gift of airbending for the first time. There's gonna be a catch. There's something not right about this. Who's that? You know the drills are here. Is it here? Of course. Guru Lahima lived 4,000 years ago in the Northern Air Temple. It is said that he unlocked the secret of weightlessness, living his final 40 years without ever touching the ground. Is that how you plan to escape? With something you picked up from an old airbender children's story? Like all great children's tales, it contains truth within the myth. Mmm, I like this guy. That's my whole thing. Instinct is a lie told by a fearful body hoping to be wrong. What's that supposed to mean? I'm gonna like this season. Instinct is a lie told by a fearful body hoping to be wrong. Sounds awesome. It means that when you base your expectations only on what you see, you blind yourself to the possibilities of a new reality. Mmm, got airbending. Nature is constantly changing, like the wind. Oh. Wow. It's the dawning of a new age, the end of the White Lotus, and soon, the end of the Avatar. Whoa, I asked for a villain, I got one. That was incredible. What a season opener. Ooh, I got chills. I'm gonna like it here. He's my kind of guy, I think. Wow. First impressions of him, incredible conviction, which is what I like to see in villains. Obviously well-educated, really educated in a way that's meaningful to him. His voice acting is cool too, so far. I'm very excited to see where this season goes. But that's gonna be all for this episode. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.